Okay, I think we've waited enough, just a few minutes after the break, and I hope that we are going to uh, be on time with this session. Uh, dear guests, I'm really, really happy and, um, to present our next uh, group of speakers, in fact. Uh, first uh, guest that I've invited from this group to speak in this uh, year's forum was Roberto Magro, who is sitting just next to me. Uh, he's a very special artist uh, for CONAS 2022 program, and I hope that this next presentation will explain you why. Roberto is an artist, but not only, he's also a dramaturgist. He's a teacher and circus director. He was artistic director of Flick Circus School in Torino between 2005 and 11. Later, he directed numerous community performances in Spain and founded the festival Brocante, held every summer since 2007. Um, it brings together around 200 established artists in his home region. Uh, in CONAS 2022 program, Roberto, since a few years, has been working with different communities in the CONAS district. Using his language, his poetic language, new circus language, he has been achieving a quite uh, spectacular, I would say, mm, very poetic <laughs> results as well. So it's an artist of incredible dedication and sensitivity to the uh, audience and to the participants of his project, an artist with a beautiful imagination too. When I invited uh, Roberto, he, as it is natural for him, invited more people to, <laughs> to his presentation, which is even more uh, fantastic. And uh, the person who is sitting next to him is Jugas Kunzmanas. Jugas graduated from Vitotas Magnus University with a bachelor's degree in acting, and later, he studied hand-to-hand -hand acro partnering and acrobatics at the Flick Circus School of Contemporary Circus. He's currently one of the teachers at Circo Sapiens, the first contemporary circus center in Lithuania, in Konas. He also contributes to European Capital of Culture Konas 22 um, project, working together with Roberto and his team. In fact, a few years ago, I was a witness at a very uh, spectacular conversation. I was sitting at the table with this man and this man as Jugas was uh, finding out that after uh, finishing his acting studies, he's uh, leaving just in a few days uh, to, uh, to learn new circus at the Flick Circus School, which was a huge <laughs> surprise, I think, for him. And when I saw him after a few years, he was a completely new man. And now we have uh, not only the teacher of first uh, circus uh, center in Lithuania, but also a great artist in Konas, which uh, is very helpful also for projects that we are running. Next, uh, Lucas Alessis, who is uh, uh, my uh, team member, uh, my colleague, but also since recently uh, the uh, head of culture department at Kona's district municipality, uh, and also uh, the main producer of uh, many of the projects that Roberto is running in uh, Kona's. And Mr. Mr. Sharunas Pikelis, mayor of Batneva Eldership, uh, where uh, part of the projects that we will be talking about were taking place and where uh, Mr. Pikelis was really giving a hand, <laughs> quite literally, in the realization of these projects. So I leave the floor to you and thank you for being here. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, usually I try to speak in English, but uh, today, since a lot of things is, uh, are happening. I will speak in Lithuanian as well as my colleagues, uh, so I suggest to put on the uh, headphones. Sveiki visi. Jau kaip Ana mūsų puikiai visus pristatė, mes galbūt nebeprisistatinėsime. Ir man kaip Kauno rajono savivaldybės kultūros poskirio vadovai labai smagu pasidžiaugti, kad apskritai Kaunas Europos kultūros sostinė atkeliavo su tokiu proveržiu, nes Jeigu tai pasižiūrėtume labai paprastai ir tokia elementarė faktų kalba, Kauno rajonas yra didelė žiedinė savivaldybė, kuri supa Kauną ir konkuruoti su na, protų centru, su meno centru, su intelektiniu centru, 
regionams visuomet buvo sudėtinga. Mes nesakom, kad tai yra sudėtinga ir neįmanoma, tai kelia daugiau iššūkių ir tie iššūkiai mūsų stiprina ir panaro įdomesniais ir unikalesniais, bet buvimą žiedinę savivaldybę turi savų iššūkių ir didelių iššūkių. Jeigu kalbėtume apie kultūros infrastruktūros tinklą, jis yra beproto didelis ir jį suvaldyti yra ganėtinai sudėtinga ir jeigu mes tikimės naujų proveržio taškų, naujo žvilgsnio į kultūrą, naujo permastimo, to, kas jau yra padaryta ar daroma eilę metų, na, dėje kartai susidūrėme su vienais ar kitais iššūkiais. Todėl mes labai džiaugiamės, kad Kauno rajono savivaldybė galėjo tapti Europos kultūros sostinės programos dalimi ir įgyvendinti didelį pokytį, kuris jau matomas yra ir šiomis dienomis. Tai jeigu taip labai trumpai Europos kultūros sostinė Kauno rajone programą vykdo keliai skirtingais lygmenimis. Ir ko gero, pats svarbiausias mums ir tas, kuris sukūrė ir tebe, kuria didžiausia pokytį, yra bendruomenėmis grįstas menas kartu bendradarbiaujant su įvairių sričių aktoriais ir artistais kuomet vietos žmonės gali prisijungti prie tos bendrakūrybos, formuoti savo identitetą, kalbėti apie savo problemas, apie savo lūkesčius, apie savo svajones ir jas realizuoti kartu per meną. Dar kartelį visiems įrodant, kad meno ir kultūros kalba vis dėl to yra pati stipriausia. Tai čia yra pats svarbiausias dalykas, ką mes pasakėm Kauno rajone ir šiandieną mūsų 25 seniūnijos jos turi savo veidą. Ir gana ryškų. Mes kalbam nuo ekologijos ir tvarumo iki roko festivalio. Mes kalbam apie skulptūrą, kinetinės skulptūras. Mes kalbame apie šiolaikinį cirką. Mes apriepėm visas įmanomas meno kalbas ir per tas kalbas žmonės jaučia pasididžiavimą savo vietos gyvenvietėm. Jie jaučia pasididžiavimą savo istoriją, savo kultūrą. Jie nori prisidėti prie jos posėlėjimo. Be abejo, didelė įtaka šito identiteto sukūrimui 2019 metais pradėjo režisierius Roberto Magro su spektakliu Radio Angelai, kuomet linksmakalnis, toksai mažas kaimelis, patapo vienu žinomiausių kaimelių visoje Lietuvoje dėl Roberto Magro ir jo kūrybinės komandos įsikišimo ir vietos žmonių sudominimo ir prakalbinamo jų šiolaikinė cirko kalba. Be abejo, vėliau Roberto Magro sugrįžo ir mes jau pernai publikai peristatėme šiolaikinio cirko spektaklį vizijos, paremta Mačernio ir Čiulionio kūrybą, apkeliavom ne tris seniūnijas ir galbūt, kad nebūt čia toksai, kuris pasakoja, tiesiog kiek yra daug nuveikta, tai yra tokie labai fiziniai ir apčiupiami rezultatai. Mes atkeliavom į bubių seniūniją, kurioje šiais metais mes irgi ruošiamės premjerai, mūsų priemė Batnevos seniūnas, Ir seniūnas galbūt aš dabar ir norėčiau jį pakviesti, kad jisai pasakytų, na, koks tas virsmas ir nutiko būtent pačioje seniūnijoje, kai atkeliavo, na, būrys menininkų su idėjom ir dideliu noru ir tikslu transformuoti visą mišką esant į šalia bubių. Laba diena. Tai labai Lukas puikiai pristatė visą Kauno rajono. Aš atstovauju tam vieną mažojo dalį, bet nebuvo seniūnija ir... Tai tokia situacija, kaip aš sakau, seniūnijose, kadangi mes esam nutolę, kaip ir minėjo Lukas, nuo miesto, nuo centrų kultūras, yra tokia, kad visas kultūrinis gyvenimas daugiau grįstas, etnografija, folklorų, kas nėra blogai iš principo, bet žino, tas, kaip aš leidžiu pajokauti savo, kad tas repertuaras perdodamas paveldimas yra ir na, turinys nėra dažnai toks, kuris patrauktų išorės dėmesį ir Man kaip seniūnai svarbu yra, kad tie seniūnyje auktų ne tik kaip statinys, kaip pastatas, kad tai ne naujas šaligat, vis naujas suolas, viskas gerai, bet emocinio ryšio, tam vietos gyventojai su savo kraštu tai nesuteikia, reikia visumos, reikia ieškoti tos kultūros, to meno, kas žmogus surištų su savo kraštu. Ir mes tam tokiam ieškojimu kelyje esam ir staiga pas mūsų pasirodo Roberto su savo komanda ir su savo idėjom, su savo vizijom, su mačernio vizijom, su čiurlioniu ir na, tai buvo kažkas tokio, kas vėl tokį suteikė impulsą, kaip prasidėjo procesas, 
kūrybos, įsitraukė visą bendruomenę. Ir mokykla, ir, 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 ir žmonės, ir, ir mes atradom naujus žmonės, jis, sakau, galbūt ir mus atrado, ištikiuosi kažkas. Ir žinot, ką mes pamatėm, mes pamatėm, kad mes turim tą mišką, pro kurį praeinam kasdien galbūt, bet jį pamatėm visiškai kitaip, kaip parodė Roberto ir jo komanda. Kad realiai spektaklis vyko pernai, tai šiandien dienai šit miškas taip yra lankomas, ten nebereikia mums netvarkyti, takai ištirptys, žmonių susitikimo vieta tapo. Tai toks atsiranda istorija šitoj vietoj. Ryščys su savo kraštu, su, su savo istorija. Taip pat ačiū labai Roberto, iš tikrųjų, ir, ir jo komandai, nes tai, ką jie nuveikia ir dar nuveiks, tai yra tas proveržis, kurio reikia mum mažom seniūnijom. Aš tik tai dar labai trumpai prisidėsiu, galbūt seniūnas a, na, pasikuklino pasakyti, bet pernai buvo toksai, na, vėlgi, labai paprastas ir apčiuopiamas rezultatas, kadangi mes repetuodavom a, bubių daugia funkcinėm centre, na, kartu ir mokykla, ir prieš mokyklinės grupės yra, a, ir, ir, ir visai netikėtai apspromtų, a, nusprendėme atsivesti a, mažiausius mokinius į generalinę repeticiją, Tai ko gero, buvo daug didesnis ir daug svarbesnis rezultatas negu reali premjera, matyti tuos mokinius, kurie na, pamatė ne tik Italai, bet a, ir ką jie išdarinėja, ir, ir kas tai iš viso yra šio laikinis cirkas, ir po to matyti Roberto su daugybė vaikų aplinkui ir, ir, ir niekaip neįmanoma iš jų išeiti. A, parašai, bendrystės, na, na, tai yra gražiausia dalykai ir dėl to norėčiau jau suteikti žodį ir džiugui. Rodės ateis kiek vėliau po Roberto, kadangi tiesiog papildysiu <laughs> istoriją. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Um, well, uh, ačiū. Mm -hmm. um, ačiū Šuronas and, uh, and, uh, and Lukas. Um, to start uh, my short uh, presentation, Uh, I need to uh, to refocus a little bit the discussion about uh, uh, our method of work. Um, uh, in our method of work, uh, that we 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 practice a lot in the University of Circus, uh, in the Circus School, but also with the Circus companies, um, we have a title. The title is the Invisible Strings. I mean, we are teaching uh, what uh, create a very strong scenic presence uh, and uh, I'm still thinking that we are like puppets on stage and what moves our puppet uh, are these seven invisible strings. So to explain you these seven invisible strings, I need just to ask you something. If you can uh, uh, put maybe your computers or papers on the floor, um, It's gonna just for the next uh, 35 seconds. Yes, so the seven visible strings uh, are in fact tempo, uh, rhythm, uh, body lines, uh, texture, uh, space, levels, and uh, one, one invisible string uh, that we call it vector that I really like is dimension, dimensions. Uh, let's make a little example. Hmm? Uh, let's do together. Uh, just a big movement uh, in terms of dimension. Just let's stand up and raise our hands uh, or our arms. Okay, this we call it, yes, it's a big movement, achu, and let's say it's open in a big space. Mm -hmm. But now please, uh, can we just stand? Uh, sorry, can we just sit? And can we just reduce the space? Uh, and can we just be in front of uh, someone? Better if he's close to you. Just can we be in front of someone? So we close really the space. Can you just be, you have someone close to you? Perfect. And now just please, just play this very simple game. Can you just say through your fingers, you are super. So big thing, big, how you call it? Uh, Just, you are super. Yes. And then just, can you switch? 
you are super. Can you just switch? <laughs> Can you do it again, please? So you have to switch from the left and the right, like this. Can you just, can you just see me one time? Can you just watch at me? Try just to do this. You are super. 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 You are, yeah, and then please uh, uh, try also to work on the vector tempo. So try to do it faster. You are super. 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 Okay, Aju, Aju, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. See, you are super, you are super, you are super, you are super, you are super. Um, I'm very attracted by the small dimensions. I'm very attracted by the small, uh, uh, the small dimension, the small spaces, um, because uh, uh, maybe for, for, for me it's easier uh, to analyze the complexity when I have a small uh, let's say, uh, when I am in the small dimension. And I give you another example. Uh, in, 2000, well, in 2015, I was invited uh, to co-direct the opening ceremony of Pölzen, Capital of Culture, uh, 2015, uh, joined with, with, with Peter Foreman. And I remember, like now, uh, just to tell you that I, I really like also the big events, hmm, the big shows, but... Mm, Let's come back to the small dimension. I remember that during the press conference uh, before uh, the opening ceremony, uh, I was sitting close to the bishop of, of, uh, of Pölzen. And the theme, uh, the concept of the opening ceremony was to ring the bells of the cathedral of, uh, of Pölzen after the Second War, because still the Second War, the bells were not ringing. Um, and uh, during the press conference, the, uh, the bishop says, uh, yes, we are in touch with uh, the biggest church in Europe, uh, Paris, Marseille, um, etc., etc., etc. And at, at a certain moment, I don't remember exactly, I think it was around 9 o'clock, the bells of these big cathedrals, they will uh, ring at the same time. I come from a small village. We are uh, 140 people living in our village. And uh, after the press conference, I had a, a, a little, a small dream. And I went to the bishop and I asked to him openly, do you think it's possible for you to send a letter to my priest in my village? Because I really would like that also the small bells of my village, they were ringing at the same time that the big cities. And he said, yes, OK, no problem. So he wrote the, a letter. So he sent the letter to the priest of my village. And you cannot imagine. Uh, my, the name of my village is Frisanco. So at the same time of the big city like Marseille, Paris, etc., etc., the bells of Frisanco were ringing. And I cannot forget this big, huge screen that we have on the square of, of Pölzen and seeing all the big uh, cities nominate, write it, and in the end, Frisanco. Ah, such a big pleasure. And uh, of course, my priest uh, was somehow sensitive in touch with me because uh, we are running since 50, 15 years uh, a small festival in a small uh, uh, village that uh, uh, it reached like 10,000 of people as audience. Uh, the last, uh, before, before uh, COVID pandemic. And we host like 200 of artists uh, coming from all around the world. So I, I really like the small dimension and uh, to, to bring big things in the small, in the small dimension. And uh, coming back now to our, uh, our uh, discussion. So I take this a little bit. Thank you. Uh, so when 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 uh, uh, Virginia and Anna they proposed me to uh, um, to work with the uh, communities and uh, uh, voila to to bring uh, art and especially uh, uh, contemporary circles 
uh, as a, a possibility to create new narratives and uh, uh, new relationships between the inhabitants, I immediately say yes. And now I go directly to the story of, this, of these adventures, and of course uh, I, I will talk a little bit about the legacy. Um, so we are talking about uh, two experiences called uh, Radio Angeli, Radio Angels and Visions. Mm. Uh, that are in fact an experimental or fantastically transforming and elaborating a daily reality. No? And mostly for me are also an aesthetic experience that teach the mind to be amazed. Mm -hmm. How I discovered Liz Makalins, this is also a funny story. Uh, I was in the office uh, of Kaunas 2020, Capital of Culture 2022, and I went through, um, through Wikipedia to uh, discover um, um, uh, the districts and the villages. And you can, mm, yes, it's a real story. I went through uh, the Wikipedia of Lix Makalis and I found the English version. And then I, I realized the story of Lix Makalis, no? uh, that was occupied that during the Soviet occupation was a, a secret village uh, with big antennas and they were uh, uh, listening uh, the, the, the medias uh, from all over Europe uh, in this small village, secret small village. And since 93, uh, uh, people from Konas, they were rehabilitating uh, this village. Can you imagine? There is not anymore this English version on Wikipedia. It disappears immediately after. Nice story. Mm -hmm. Nice story also because uh, um, when I went uh, with Virgin and Anna to visit Lix Makalins, I, I realized that, uh, okay, the translation is funny mountains. Mm -hmm. There was no mountains and no funny uh, things at all. Mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, uh, the elder, uh, Vaslavas, he showed me a very small uh, angel museum. And I found it incredible. So then I, I, th th there was an angel museum in this village. So then I went through some researches and I realized that there were not, not other, other cities except one city in Italy with, with an angel museum. So I found a big thing in this small village, the presence of the angels. So from this, we start to elaborate the narrative of, of the path and of the story. Imagine that uh, uh, after the Soviet occupation, this, during the Soviet occupation, this big antenna, they were also picking up the angels. And when the Soviet, uh, when the Soviet um, uh, military, they went out, the angels start to leave on, on the city of, uh, of Lix Makalins. And we create this narrative starting from this main idea. Uh, another concept uh, was the uh, beginning of the work with the communities of Bubei, uh, uh, Neveronis, and Masciakai was really based on the poems of uh, 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 Macernis. Mm -hmm. I discovered this incredible poet, uh, 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 Lithuanian poet, and uh, and his strong relationship with the forest. So we realized that uh, the best venue uh, to create the performances was the, the forest. And starting from uh, the specific uh, texture, quality, and means of the poems of, of Macernis, uh, we write a very s simple, I like the word simple, huh? it is not easy, uh, a simple story about uh, um, uh, a man that is sick of the forest and uh, the only thing that can save him is the love. Mm? And we create a path uh, with the audience through six station. And we use a lot uh, in our way of work the multidisciplinary aspect of the contemporary circus. Mm -hmm. In fact, when we think about contemporary circus, we have really to imagine the multidisciplinary aspect of this, let's call it, new expression. Mm -hmm. uh, so in circus, not, we, don't, we don't do only acrobacy, but also we act, uh, we dance, we use puppets, we use new technologies, etc., etc., etc. So this was also the language in common between these two experiences. Oh, I have to run. Uh, well, uh, 
So the, the, the goals of our experiences were, were to develop, in fact, a collective creativity uh, of, in the community, to decentralize, of course, the culture and art, to bring audience and spectators and visitors in, into the communities, and to give value to the community, his story and the story of his inhabitants, uh, using a poetical language. So we will just show you a short uh, teaser about these two experiences. Ah, true. See, I don't deal so much with the vector time because I see the time <laughs> running and I have a lot of things to tell you. But anyway, um, there are three common points mm -hmm, uh, between these two experiences and uh, in our relationship with the communities. No? The first one is the meeting uh, between the artist and the inhabitants. Um, it's a very strong moment for us. Uh, of course, uh, uh, an artist, I don't mind if he's a, paint, a painter, a poet, or, or, or an acrobat, or uh, the goal of an artist is to transform the reality. Mm -hmm. um, but when you work directly 
with the reality that is made by people and places, then uh, the work became stronger uh, and very emotional uh, for us. Uh, for a very simple reason, mm, uh, an inhabitant doesn't see at all the metaphor that is bringing. He don't see, she doesn't see the invisible part of his way to be on stage, on his way to acting. But this is what we do all the time. We see the invisible as an artist. So to work with someone that doesn't see the poetry of what, what he's doing or what she's doing is a very strong experience. Uh, when you are on stage and you are doing an acrobatic movement uh, with a children that 30 seconds before was crying because he wanted to go home, or uh, you are doing an acrobatic movement with someone that immediately after the movement on stage, he say hello to his mom because she's there and watching a team. For us are incredible experiences and uh, um, you have on your hands uh, bodies that are constantly shaking, uh, full of uh, uh, vibrations, uh, 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 people that are shy. And um, uh, to bring them in this kind of situation, you see this picture, it's a marvelous picture. We have an incredible dancer and uh, acrobat, uh, Flavio D'Andrea, that is working with the biggest company in Brussels. He's doing a hand-to-hand -hand passage uh, with uh, Auguste, Auguste, she was a little bit stuck on her articulation. Uh, so for him, also the first time that he was carrying this kind of sensitive body, oof, the feelings, the emotion for us as artists and for the audience. Also because these bodies, and I put a lot of attention on the word bodies, we are bodies, mm? some bodies, any bodies. Mm? Um, they shake because also they, uh, they take out a little bit their social curtains. So you are not the child of, or you are not the elder. You saw in some picture the elder was, was dancing. You are a new person. You are somehow naked. And for us, it's a big responsibility to work with them. So another, uh, the second aspect uh, is, of course, the evocative power of the multidisciplinary aspect of circus. Um, uh, we uh, uh, a little bit emotion, but sorry. Um, the circus is real, mm -hmm. and uh, here is the meeting point with with them. You no, know? uh, it's physical. We hug, we carry, we throw ourselves, uh, we we recover, we work on the limits, uh, overcoming fears, um, and um, and also we have an handicap. In circus, always we have a a problem and the solutions that we bring to the problem, like how to stay on two arms and not on two feet, brings creativity solutions. And the first biggest problem that we have in circles is, for example, we have two hands and three balls. How to deal it? And from this, the creativity solution starts. And then the third important aspect, of course, is the mm, uh, relationship between the Lithuanian circus artist and the inhabitants. Um, it's a very uh, sensitive point uh, for me because, uh, of course, I, I come from, from, from Italy, from Spain, from whatever. Uh, so for me, it's very particular uh, to see Lithuanian artists uh, sharing with the inhabitants um, the same flavors, the same language. Um, I, I can bring maybe after when we have questions a lot of examples also about these this uh, important moments, but this this um, this meeting between Lithuanian artists and the inhabitants was one of these three important aspects. And why I talk about this important aspect because I relate the legacy of these three aspects. I mean the the legacy of uh, the meeting between the artist and the inhabitants is, of course, uh, the sensitivity on the relationship that we can see right now, uh, if you go in Lis Makalins or in Bubei or in uh, on the other villages. For example, now when we go there, the teenagers, the, the children, they come to hug, they come to us and they hug directly. They're just waiting for us just to hug. It's not so evident because they can smile, they can see us from far and say hello, but they want to carry our weight. 
and uh, this story of weight is super important. Um, and of course, the other inhabitants, they are smiling. If I think about uh, 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 the elder, the el Vaslav as the elder of uh, Lix Makranis, or Shuronas, the, the, elder, the elder of Bubei, they are waiting for us and they are also uh, uh, helping us a lot uh, after seeing the common experience for the, for the project that we are still creating uh, for the future. Uh, then the second aspect is, of course, the legacy of the multidisciplinary aspect of Circus is incredible. You have uh, adolescent from Lix Makalins that they started to practice Circus. Uh, circus was not part at all of the vocabulary of these communities. And for example, they go now in, in Konas, we have a, a new center called uh, Circus Sapiens uh, Circus Space, and a group of adolescents, they started to go there and to train, to take classes. And we have Silvia, one of these adolescents, that she dreams to have a, a circus career. Um, so for me, this is a very important legacy. Uh, another important uh, legacy is, of course, the relation uh, related to the relationship between Lithuanian artists and inhabitants um, is the, uh, the, the, the connection between the inhabitants and them. For example, uh, in Lix Makalins, they asked to Maria, that she's a clown from Lithuania, to come back several times in the village and to present uh, like uh, the, the ceremony for this and uh, to be really like the presentator, the clown of the village. I found this marvelous, marvelous. Uh, well, and, and I want just to, uh, to finish uh, um, uh, talking a little bit, just a little last sentence about uh, the beauty. Uh, all these people, what, what they are looking for, they are looking for beauty. And uh, as, as artists, we have a big responsibility about beauty, and especially to drive uh, them to, uh, add, to don't search the beauty on the conventional places where all of them, I think especially about adolescents, are searching for the, the beauty, like a selfie or like a TikTok uh, dance. Mm -hmm. uh, so about the beauty, I want just to finish. Um, that uh, for us to, uh, to be able to grasp the beauty is necessary to educate and train the mind to the sensitivity, to the ability to feel emotions. And uh, as uh, um, uh, Hume, the, the German philosopher, said, it is necessary to have aesthetic experiences that teach the mind to be amazed in order to form what he calls delicacy of imagination. Voila, sorry if I took a little bit more time. Uh, but talking about the legacy, of course, uh, I, Jugas is part of this legacy. I met Jugas, he was a young uh, guy doing theater and dreaming, doing circus. Now I meet Jugas, he's a choreographer, he's one of the most important circus artists in Lithuania and in Europe. Uh, so it's a, with a big uh, pleasure, a lot of emotion that I give the, uh, the microphone to uh, the big, small Jugas. Oh, hello Jugas. <laughs> hello Jugas. Yeah. It's uh, quite a surprise. I think we are uh, way over our time limit, you know? Yeah, I know, but it's uh, really a lot of people, you see? <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> but we're really late, so maybe we shouldn't waste more time. No, just one little thing. Oh. <laughs> what, what thing? So, wait, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, but very short, okay? Okay, I promise. <laughs> oh.
way over our time limit. Everybody <laughs> is waiting. Uh, maybe because we have still like 100 slides and a lot of stories to tell, I would rather invite you to the coming show visions to come and see. And uh, after, you can also come and ask. And we would love to see you there in the forest of Bube. OK, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Shagulne uh, Luke, it's very nice that you also uh, added to this conversation. Uh, let's sit down for a few more moments and a few more questions. The example of your work shows how you cannot plan KPIs <laughs> in the European capital of culture. <laughs> Who would have uh, known that you will study New Circus? Uh, who would have known that Sylvia will become uh, a, a, trainer, a trainee for a professional circus artist? Who would have known what will happen, what story will take place in Lynx Makalinas? There are so many levels of impact in this project that it is really hard for me to distinguish what is most important. What is for you the most important value that you think the project brought? Uh, is it the story that you are creating in Lynx Makalnes or Bube or whatever, the new public places that are appearing as part of the project? Is it your uh, career adventures? Is it Sylvia? Uh, what is the value that you cherish the most? Well, because I was talking a lot, maybe I, I, I leave to Jugas the possibility also uh, to... There are a lot of different values and some of them were mentioned before and also for me as an artist these different projects bring different values as well um, visions is more like a project where we actually as an artist we didn't get so much time to meet the the local inhabitants and work with them only during the small breaks we would gather eat together like speak about the experiences and rather in Lynx Machines, we really, really create these strong connections with the people. And there was, for example, this uh, <laughs> one short event that really explains how strong the connection is. It's because of the strong input that we had uh, with Roberta from the first Radio Angels project. And next time, I, uh, I had to take over during the pandemic and be the director in that place. And I go to the elder of the village and I tell him my idea. I said that there is like abandoned place that would, I would like to use for the creation. And I would need to cut the grass and also cut some branches from the trees. And uh, because he knew why I do this and he had so much uh, of the experience from before, he decides, okay, I'll do it. And after 10 minutes, I see him with all his costume, he takes a chainsaw, climbs a ladder, and starts to cut the branches, you know? And like, who am I to tell him this, to grow an old man to do this? But he had such a big impact from the first times that he really understands why he, he is doing that and what uh, is coming after. Uh, so this quite, this experience is completely changes the way you understand what you're doing as well as an artist. And just by being there, you bring a lot. Uh, um, yeah, I can uh, bring an, an another example. Maybe you know better than me, uh, um, um, Moteus Bazar, a very famous Lithuanian pianist. Uh, when I saw him uh, uh, playing on some uh, concert or with some orchestra, I was fascinated totally by him and uh, I was asking him to participate to our uh, uh, performance videos. Really, like, please, uh, um, I know that you are a, a, a big pianist, can you please? But then I remember when we were um, performing in, um, in Neveronis, it was raining a lot. And to see, um, to see Mateus on the, uh, let's say, on the mud till here, uh, uh, taking care of his piano uh, with the technician, with the inhabitants, uh, 
I say, wow, this is one of the best uh, uh, moments I never saw. So this project also uh, uh, for us are important because also the artists break these curtains, break these, uh, uh, yes, these typical curtains that we have that separate always the spectators or the, let's say, the fan, not to the hero or to the artist. And for me, this is the, these examples are, are very, very important. To add, I can also we can see the the same couple of hand to hand from another project. So by doing this kind of uh, experiences, we also uh, are able to still maintain the relations that are born here and even develop them, which is rarely happening in other cases. Mm. Thank you. Well, uh, another question, and then maybe one from the audience. I hope you have uh, such questions, but. Uh, 2022 is coming sooner or later, well, in December, it's coming to an end. Um, I've seen such projects, and probably most of you have, where a community project ends, the artist travels away or takes on a new activity, and we see new playgrounds being occupied again by cars, we see the new habits being forgotten, uh, how do you see the future of, uh, for example, Links Makalnes after 22, and how much, I don't know, you feel, um, I don't want to put you in this position, but responsible, or uh, somehow, you know, do you feel a long connection here with this, with this place, and what do you think will happen next? Or is it not your responsibility anymore? This is the community which now takes over uh, the leadership for, for the creative life there. Thank you, Anna. It's a very important question because also um, uh, I, I need to, to relate our conversation with the presentation of Beatrice. Um, of course, when we think about a project, uh, the first thing that is important for me is how I can build, uh, a, let's say, a, ses a sensitive background or, or, or context that it stays after. So I'm really not interested at all about making a show for a show and that's it. For this, for example, the most important part is the path. Uh, it means what we saw is just the result uh, of a long journey. The show, the, the, let's say this hour that uh, uh, we see and we are, we are clapping, ah, it's fantastic, is the result of a long journey. And uh, in this long journey, the pedagogy of the sensitivity is the most important part of the project for me. So in fact, uh, the first activity that we do with the communities is to don't talk at all about the show. So we don't talk at all about it, we give workshops. Uh, we bring, for example, in, we bring Singlix Makanis artists from Brazil, uh, uh, France, Switzerland, uh, Spain, Chile, uh, we bring the world there. First impact, mm, the adolescent, they were not speaking English at all. And now we have a Facebook group and uh, they uh, constantly write to us what they are doing in a per an English better than mine, uh, what we are doing, where each time that there is something to celebrate, they celebrate with all of us. We are 20 artists from all around the world in the same Facebook with the teenager of Liz Makalis. So in fact, for me, the, 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 the path is very important. So through the workshops, for example, we were going to the schools, into the schools, we were working with the adolescent, we were working with the adults, we were working with the seniors, we were working with the elder, we were working with the responsible of the culture. Because another important aspect to, to create a legacy is uh, uh, to, to paint a kind of diagonal, poetical diagonal, sensitive diagonal through the ages. So, in fact, you connect all the ages through the seven invisible points. And uh, voila, so thanks to the workshop, the people, the inhabitants, they start to uh, feel really the importance to create a new relationship. And even if, after, if the show is, let's say, the, the moment where also the visitors are coming, etc., etc., they realize also afterward that the path was also for them most important than the show. And uh, uh, talking about the invisible strings, uh, hey, what is invisible stay much more than what is visible. <laughs> 
So the invisible strings are there, and um, well, I think that uh, the, uh, uh, we 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 can't predict the future. So we we didn't know in the beginning because sometimes also you do mistakes. Sometimes it works. Sometimes not. You can see, and I work in from Brazil to Greenland. I can see there are communities that are that hardly. Uh, invest their time and their relationship into this kind of work, but here was was just amazing. They were directly into the. They were. Uh, we felt this necessity also from them to discover this invisible string, this this other way to see their villages, their relationship, their forest, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So of course, it's very important for us to think about the legacy from the first minute of work. Do you agree, Jugi? The, the invisible stays? Yes, well, <laughs> I cannot explain in such a wide words and poetic kind of, I'm mostly working physically. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes, sorry, Jugas, you can explain. Okay. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, invisible, <laughs> let's say, is the musicality of the movement. Okay, so this you can say that now. I, uh, they, they think about, you teach them the musicality of the movement. When I see them moving, I don't see them moving like, like before. Yeah, exactly. It's, so. Of course, I can speak a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you are a good uh, okay. teacher. So the, the thing is, also what, when I go to Links Makerness to teach, and I try to continue this as much as I can, uh, now the students are able to come to my place also to learn. And I can speak from that part mostly. Uh, is that I'm not even trying to make them circus artists. It's like my goal is rather to really help them to expand their view and in whatever kind of path in their life they would choose, they would really think that oh, I can if I want to do this, I can really like just go to France. I can really like reach much more than they would think of before growing from that little town. Mm. Thank you both. Thank you very much. Uh, I, uh, yes, let's continue talking during lunch break. Yes. yes. Okay. Ach and now, uh, dear guests, uh, what extreme pleasure and uh, big happiness